I'm Emily Guerin for Inside Energy, and I'm here in Dickinson, North Dakota at a damsel in defense party. It's like a Tupperware party, but for self-defense products geared towards women. Erica Leach is the saleswoman at tonight's event. I'm trying to attack you through your car window. You can get to them before they can get to you. Business is booming. In 2011, there were no damsel in defense sales reps in North Dakota. Now, there are about 30. Part of that is due to a perception that the Bakken oil field is a dangerous place for women. And it's not because of dangerous work. It's because of the workers, the predominantly male workers. Uh, yeah, I think that feeling unsafe is definitely good for business, but we don't, we don't use scare tactics to sell our products. She doesn't need to. The women at the party had plenty of stories of their own to tell. This person followed me out of this, around the store and then out of the store. And everyone here remembers the Montana math teacher, Sherry Arnold, who was killed by two men seeking work in the oil fields three years ago. North Dakota crime statistics show the violent crime rates are actually higher on average in non-oil producing counties. But the women here say these stun guns or canisters of pepper spray will make them feel safer in the Bakken, where young men have arrived in droves for work in the oil industry, and women are outnumbered. Okay. Anytime I've, I've been by myself after dark, I get a little anxious, you know, and, and just it'll be nice to feel a little bit more secure. And if local women feel safe, maybe the stereotype of the oil patch as a threatening place for women will start to change. Oh my gosh! <laughs> for Inside Energy, I'm Emily Guerin.